But I think it's about time for another garden update if the wind isn't too strong for this. Um, I haven't done one in a couple weeks because things didn't really grow much when it was so hot. It was about all I could do just to keep things alive. So they've started taking off a little bit now since we had a little cooler temperatures last week. Um, this front section here, the squash and the beans are kind of going crazy. Apparently I have them a little, a little crowded. So um, I'm not used to these beans or peas, I guess I should call them, these cow peas here. I'm not used to them getting so tall, they even look like they would have climbed something if they'd had a fence, but, um, because those are, I mean, they're about, I don't know, four to five feet tall. Usually I'm just used to the pods sticking up on top, so I'm not sure why they're putting out such long runners, but anyway, I'll have to remember that and try to give them a little more space next time, or maybe even something to climb on. I can't tell if they'd climb or if they'd just uh, run around, but anyway. This squash here, the first one, is the spaghetti squash. You can see one there. Um, there's one over here that's a little further along. It's starting to get yellow. Those are the ones that, once you cook them, they kind of... the flesh in them is kind of stringy and you can use it like spaghetti. It isn't quite the same thing as pasta but it works alright. Um, tomatoes, finally getting the tomatoes, or they're finally getting tall enough that I can train them up the wires here a little bit. Um, these are some I was given. I guess they're, they're a cherry or grape tomato. Um, this first one here has gotten up here a ways. I'm also training the squash up the trellis where it's getting close enough. When it cl climbs this direction, I go ahead and train it up. Um, in fact, I think this first one, there must be another one down there somewhere that's got a squash hanging from it, but there's another spaghetti squash there, so I'm going to have several of those, it looks like, already. Um, there's a, well, there's a squash hanging on the vine that's trained up here. Thought that was a tomato for a second, but I think there are some small tomatoes on here. Yeah, there's there's one. Now, that might not be a cherry tomato. It might be a bigger type. The beans that are climbing are still climbing. I'm pretty sure this first batch, this first section, is a purple bean, which I would have thought would have meant purple blooms, but maybe not. And then further down, it turns into lima beans. And uh, they're gradually filling the, filling the trellis up more. I expected them to be a little thicker by now, but they're getting there. A few days ago, it didn't seem like they were, but I think they started growing again when it cooled off a little. I don't think I see any beans on them yet, but a lot of blooms, so there will be. Down here I have some more squash climbing. And I think I can see some summer squash that I need to pick back over here. So there's several down here. There's one, one right back there. There's some yellow ones down there. So they've taken off again now that they really didn't make any while it was so hot, but now all of a sudden there's a bunch of them there. They're going to kind of get away from me if I don't pick them today. There are some Japanese beetles going to town, so I'm going to have to get over here with the powder and take care of them. They've really done it. They've really done some damage to this couple of bean plants right here. They really wipe out the leaves after a while. There's about a dozen of them right here on this one plant. They don't seem to bother anything else nearly as much, just the beans. So there's a few more. So I'll get them, take care of them tonight. As soon as I finish this up. See this squash plant? Looks like it's a butternut variety. So that's a winter squash that I won't pick until later on. That's the more uh, yellow fleshed. 
kind that you can you can also use for pumpkin pies, things like that. Um, there's a yellow, a very small yellow scalloped one just getting started. Here's the bean row from the other end. These are these are starting to dry out, so I'll let them dry before I pick them. They work just they work best as a dry bean, really. I could pick a few and eat them fresh, but it's just as easy to let them dry out. There's some more Japanese beetles wiping out that leaf. I was watering so much I couldn't really keep uh, the powder on things, so it looks like they kind of came back and took off while I wasn't powdering. The uh, sweet potatoes are looking good. Even though the chickens like to dig right next to this one, use it as a dust spot, but it still looks pretty healthy. Right next to them, I have some fennel plants that I got from Farm and Home. They were the last eight they had. They were selling all their plants for uh, pretty cheap, and uh, I grabbed these eight, and I'd say they're going to live most of them. Um, I was a little concerned they might just plain might be just plain dead. But it looks like they're going to survive and, and do something. Um, next to the fennel, there's one of the broccoli that I transplanted. And it looks like it's doing pretty well. But there were two, and the other one died, or looks like it got eaten off. This row appears to be mostly radishes. And the weather is just too hot for radishes. Um, I tried. I picked a couple and tried to eat them. They were just way too hot. And you can see, like, this one here is going straight to seed. A lot of them just bolted right to seed without even making a, a root. So that was kind of a waste of time, but I was just trying to use up some old seed. Thought maybe I'd get some, but when it gets that hot, radishes just don't, don't do anything. Um, this, I think, is turnips. Don't know yet. Um, these are zinnias, flowers. Just have a few of them. Again, this is some of the old seed I'm just using up. Um, I don't know for sure what these are. They might be another flower. I don't really recognize them as any sort of vegetable. And then these, I'm pretty sure are dill. Which I could tell if I... Yeah, that's dill. It definitely smells like dill. You crush a little bit in your fingers and you can definitely tell. So that's dill. These are chives. Don't know if there are onion chives or garlic chives, but there again, when they get a little bigger, I'll be able to pick one and tell. Um, down here, I've got some melons. I still don't know what kind of melons these are, but they're starting to make some blooms, so I should be able to tell before too long. And then another melon down here, which this one looks like a watermelon. I don't know if I planted a watermelon, but that's what it looks like, so I'll just have to wait and see. It's just starting to put on some blooms. Strawberries look pretty good. Some of them have started to run around, like this one here. It's made some runners. Once those get well established, I'm going to dig up some of the runners, move them down, and extend the row the rest of the way down, and uh, should have about 15 or so in the row then. I'd like to have more than that, but that's at least a start. Uh, the asparagus is still growing. I actually had some asparagus kind of come up late. Um, like right here. There's one one stalk that came up later on long after the main stalks had come up, so I don't know if that was because of me watering or what, but some of it kind of came up late, and actually that, that stalk would have been big enough to cut and eat, but I really shouldn't cut any yet this year. I really should wait until next year. Across the asparagus, I've got some jalapenos on my tiny little plants here. Uh, I know there's one here somewhere. Now yeah, there's one. Decent size. Oh, I didn't mean to break it off. I usually prefer to just let them get red, but... I'll go ahead and use that one for in my eggs for breakfast or something. Um, 
tiny little plants, but they're starting to produce. Now, the bigger plant down there is an ancho, kind of a mild hot pepper. It's got a lot of blooms on it. Uh, the broccoli look great. They're just not making any heads yet. But maybe now that the got past that really hot time, maybe they'll do better now. Uh, these beans are just starting to, they've had a lot of blooms, they're just starting to make little beans. There's one right there. I don't see any longer ones on them, so it'll still be a week or so. Oh, there's a long one. There's one right there. So there may be some others in there. I'll have to look and see if I can get a meal out of them pretty soon. Because those are, they're definitely just green beans that I can pick and, and eat right away. Swiss chard looks great. It always handles the heat well. So I can use that any time for a meal. Um, the beets look good. Some of them are like these on the end here. would be plenty big to go ahead and pull and use. And I may just kind of, I don't have enough to can or anything. I'll just pull one and eat it for a meal and gradually go through them that way. The potatoes are just starting to wilt, finally. Uh, I've been waiting for them to do that so I can get them dug and out of the way and plant something else in their place. So they're finally, finally starting to wilt. And uh, hopefully I'll be digging them up in a week or two. Um, these are some of the cabbages that I transplanted. And they're looking okay. They didn't all make it. Um, kind of a bad time to transplant things as hot as it was, but some of them did make it. and They'll end up doing okay, I imagine. Um, I step over the tomato potatoes here. The onions have all pretty much fallen over in the last couple days, which should mean they're about ready to pull and dry out for storage. They didn't get huge, but really they did better than, I, I usually just don't have much luck with onions, so these did all right. Um, they won't last me all winter or anything, but um, it'll be nice to have some fresh ones for a while. Got one cabbage that's got a decent sized head developing on it. Some of the others look like they've been eaten up, but I don't know just what's been eaten on them. I haven't seen cabbage worms or flies, so I'm really not sure what's doing it, but they're gradually getting there. Uh, the peas are kind of dying now. I need to pick them once more, and that'll probably be the end of them. And then I can go ahead and pull them all up, or till them in, and uh, probably transplant some more cabbages to this spot, maybe get started planting some late stuff, some late turnips and carrots and things, but they're... Uh, they didn't handle the heat very well. It's even with plenty of water, peas just peas just don't care for 105 degrees. Um, carrots are doing okay, I guess. I pulled a couple the other day, and they were still pretty small, so I'll leave them alone for a while. It's probably been long enough they should be ready, but they're just not yet. Um, the turnips on the other side of them, I did pull a couple of them. They seem like they're getting kind of old and woody, so. There again, these cool, cool, uh, cool weather crops just don't handle 100 degree or higher weather very well, especially several days of it in a row. Um, this stuff, I said last time I didn't know what it was. I still don't know what it is, but it started going to seed, so I thought I might as well just let it. Um, it could be a mustard, um, so I'll let it make seeds and see what they turn out to be. Um, if it is mustard, then I can use it for that. If it's not, I guess it'll just continue to be a mystery. Um, back here next to it, I have a bunch more cabbage plants, and that's one reason I want to get these peas and potatoes out of here, so I can transplant all these cabbage plants out and give them more room. They're not going to make it right here, but they're getting big enough they really need to be transplanted. And I want to get several of them going. Well, I'd like to have a couple dozen of them going for uh, sauerkraut making in the fall. Um, round on the other side, I have some more squash. These are the scalloped ones again, the white scallop here. So there's one, it's getting pretty good size. 
like I said, these just kind of exploded in the last few days after it got cooler in the last week, I guess. So there's there's one too. So there's a couple here. Um, these beans, I don't know what they are. I thought they were these are the ones I thought were bush beans, and then they started to climb, so I had to build a trellis real quick. Um, they've got purple blooms, so maybe they're a purple bean, maybe they're not. They started to get the Japanese beetles again. There's a few up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got the powder sitting here. I'm going to go ahead and powder them. Oops. This is that dia diatomaceous earth that I talked about in my last post. It's um, ground up algae skeletons or something like that. So I just it's harmless to people so I just pour plenty of it on you get a pretty good sized bag of it for a few bucks and uh, it has I guess microscopic sharp edges on it that bugs with a exoskeleton just can't handle I guess it gets in their skeleton and, and cuts them up so seems to do a pretty good job um, I don't know if it really repels them like an insecticide would, but I just assume not mess with that stuff if I don't have to. So I'll powder the other places that I saw them when I get done with this. Um, up here, there's more broccoli plants that are hopefully starting to make a head finally. They kind of wound up scattered around the garden here and there, but they're all doing pretty well. Um, these beans... Or a red kidney bean. Um, I picked one, one pod just to see. I thought that's what they were, but I picked one just to see what they are. And yeah, that's what it is. It's a red kidney bean. This particular pod, I don't know. I guess it just wasn't done developing, so the beans are pretty small. But I think they do. They should do better than that. Most of them. But that's what they're going to turn out to be. Just kind of this, this row here next to the cowpeas. I thought I planted more kinds of beans than that, but. Um, I guess the first kind here didn't come up, and that's why I ended up planting the broccoli. So then they're followed by the, the red kidney beans, and there may be one other type down there, and then the rest is all the cow peas. So I'll have a lot of dry beans to uh, eat over the winter time. Um, beans are a little a little high in the carbs, a little high in the omega sixes to to eat every day, but they're a good a good staple to have around certainly a better choice than a lot of things. Um, I'm stepping back here through the squash to get to some of these summer squash that I've got back here. And there's a good sized yellow one. Really just assume they didn't get any bigger than this because they mostly just add seeds. They don't really, you know, you just have more seeds to deal with when they get bigger. Um, there's one over here that has gotten quite a bit bigger. This plant actually looks a little rough, like it's dying. I don't know why that would be. I don't see any bugs on it, any su any uh, squash bugs or anything. It just looks like it's kind of wilting. So I'm not sure what that's about. Um, don't think I stepped on anything. There's another large one. So that's three of them right there, and I can see. There's probably a dozen at least from where I'm standing, so maybe I'll take these to the store tomorrow with me and see if I can give some away. I know I can't eat them this fast. So, I think that's about it for this time. I think I covered everything. Uh, maybe by the next time I do one of these, I'll be digging some potatoes or planting something where the peas were. I think once I turn this off, I'm going to go ahead and powder the rest of the spots where I've seen the Japanese beetles and then pick the peas and get them get them out of the way see if there's going to be any more I see a few blooms over there so they may not be really done they may still put on a few but I also want to plant some some late peas too to pick in the next couple months so I guess that'll be it for this time and I should do another one of these in a week or two